We are going to make a game of catch with Felix the cat and Herbert the mouse. You control Herbert with the mouse and try to avoid getting caught by Felix. The longer you avoid him, the more points you score. But don't get caught because your score will go down. OK, the first thing we're going to do is to give our program a name. And you can go up to File and Save As. I'm going to put this in My Projects and I'm going to call it Herbert, Felix and Herbert. OK, that. I'm going to add a new background to the stage. At the moment, we've got the sprite selected and the stage is down here. So on the stage we can go to the backgrounds tab and we can import and we're going to go to indoors. If you're not on this one you might be on another folder. You can just navigate to the correct folder there. So in the backgrounds this one called hall. That's the background we're going to have our sprite on. I'm going to go back to the sprite and up here we can name it Felix. Now I'm going to get Felix to move around and I need to start putting some blocks in. First job is to get this block which makes the program start when we click the green flag and we're going to get him to move so we're going to the motion palette and we're going to get the cat to move 10 steps. Just going to leave that down there because I'm going to add a few of the blocks in first. Now if I just click this block the cat moves 10. I have to keep clicking it to get him to move at all which gets a bit tedious and in the control we have a way of making it move all the time or forever. And now if I attach this to the green flag block, click the green flag and he moves but he's gone right off the stage. Right, we're going to sort that out in a minute. Just press that to stop. And you've just got enough of him there to be able to bring him back again. So back you come. OK, we need to add something that will make the cat follow the mouse. And if we go up to motion again, and if we get this one point towards, and pop it at just above the move block, and once he got a point towards, he's going to point towards the mouse pointer. And now when we click the green flag, wherever I put the mouse pointer, the cat follows. Well done, Felix. Let's drag him back down here. Now as you saw, the cat went in all sorts of positions, upside down, round and round and we want the cat to always face left and right and there's a very easy way to do that. A little button up here and if you hover over any button it tells you what you're about to click. So this button tells us when we click it that it will make sure the cat will only face left and right. So let's click that and let's go to the green flag and he's gone to the mouse again but he's following the mouse and always facing left and right. Fantastic. Now another great thing in animation is to make characters look as if they are walking or moving somehow. And the way we do that in Scratch is by using different costumes. So clicking on the costumes tab we can see that Felix has two costumes. One where his right leg's in front and the left leg is down and then in the other one right leg in front but the left leg is up and believe it or not just using these two costumes we can make it look as if Felix is going to be running and if I just click them like that you can see on the stage that it looks a bit like he's moving between them so how can we make that into part of the program well if we go into the looks palette we've got a little button here a little block called next costume and if we put that in here, 
and then press the green flag you can see his legs moving very rapidly Whoa. and he looks a bit more like he's running okay bring him back down and then also we'd like to be able to make some sort of sound because games without sound aren't very interesting and we've got a palette here called sound and the one we want is play drum now drum isn't just drums it's all sorts of sounds but if we pop that inside the forever loop I want that one to be there uh, and you can see what the program's saying it's saying when the green flag is clicked forever point towards the mouse and forever move 10 steps and forever keep changing the costume and forever change the drum or sound we want a sound of we're going to try this one 62 but you can use any sound you like and I'm just going to change the timing slightly to 0.3 beats what's that going to look like and you can see he's slowed his movement so it's a bit more obvious what he's doing and he's always facing left and right and his legs are moving so he looks a bit like he's running so far so good let's press stop okay you need to get your program to look like this make sure your script has got a green flag block a hat block and it's got a forever loop and it's got these blocks inside it so pause the video and do that now so you should have tested it make sure Felix is doing what you expect him to do and then you also need to make sure that you save so at this point we've already given the program a name it's called Felix and Herbert so if we just click the save button it will save over the top of that so click save and then you won't lose the work that you've done okay next we're going to get somebody for the cat to chase and what do cats normally chase in cartoons they chase mice so we need to bring in a new sprite and if you go to this button when you hover it says choose new sprite from file and we are going to choose one of the animals so I've just double clicked that to open it scrolling down here there's Felix and under M this is all alphabetical so we've got mouse one that's the one I want okay and if you look on the stage it's a huge mouse and also it's gone over the top of Felix this is the one that's selected and that means Felix is selected there's the script to go with Felix when we click on Herbert there's no script over here let's do the first thing which is to make him a lot smaller we need to make him so that we can uh, have him at the right size So if we go to his costumes he's only got one costume and you can change the way he looks by going to edit and over here you've got grow and you've also got shrink I've just clicked that five times and then I'm going to click OK and there he is let's just move him to one side he's a lot smaller let's give Herbert some instructions first of all we ought to make sure he's called Herbert so go up to his name up here type in Herbert make sure I spell it correctly and come down to the script so there's no script in here at the moment we know that with Felix we had it so that when the green flag is clicked he does some instructions follows some instructions same with Herbert we're going to get the control palette when the green flag is clicked what does he do well we already know that a forever loop is very useful for getting continuous mo motion or continuous action I'm going to pop that in there straight away and we're going to get him to follow the mouse so if we go to motion and we're going to tell him to always go towards the mouse wherever it is so if we grab this block and change the drop down to mouse pointer he's always going to go towards the mouse pointer let's see what happens great 
So now it looks as if Felix is always chasing the mouse, but the mouse is always going where the pointer is. We've got a game. But nothing happens when the cat catches the mouse, and that's what we need to change next. Now you will have noticed that Herbert is facing away from Felix. Now if I was a mouse I'd want to always watch the cat and I'd want to make sure I've got my eyes on him and there's a way that we can program that and we've got a block called point towards. And uh, If we drop that in there what do we want Herbert to point towards? We want Herbert to point towards Felix. Okay now when we press the green flag move him around oh. He's always looking at Felix, but in doing so, he's going to make himself dizzy because he turns all sorts of ways. I wonder how I can fix that. Have a think about how we can make sure that Herbert always faces upright and doesn't float around like that with his tail in the air. Uh, pause the video, save your program, and then come back to the video when you've got Herbert the right way up in your program. Do that now. If you remembered that when you want a sprite to stay upright and always face left and right you go to this button. So if you did that well done give yourself a pat on the back. So if we click that now run the program Herbert's facing the cat wherever he goes but he's always looking towards Herbert, but he's not going upside down like a crazy mouse. Okay, let's just press stop. Right, what should the cat do when it catches the mouse? We need some way of um, scoring this later. Uh, I'd like Felix, uh, first of all, to do something when he catches a mouse. Well, how about if Felix says caught you? Right, let's look at how we're going to do that. The most important thing now is to make sure you're on the right sprite and it's Felix that we need to program next. So if we click on the Felix sprite, remember this script that we did before? We're going to add to this script and we're going to get it so that if Felix catches Herbert then he's going to do something. And to be able to do if we need an if block so it's going to ask the program a question. Have you done something? Because if you have, then do this. So we are going to get this block here, if. And notice there's a space here. That's where the question is asked, if something. And then in this space, we're going to put the block that it does if something happens. And we've got a way of sensing where things are. So Felix because we're in the Felix sprite, we'll be able to sense what he's done and we want him to be able to sense if he's touched and if you look at the drop down here we want to know if he's touched Herbert, has he caught him? So if we bring that out and we put it in that little funny shaped hole there so this now says if the sprite that we're on, which is Felix, is touching Herbert what? Well what shall we put in here? We can get things that speak or look like they're speaking so it's not actually in the sound because it's going to say something in words and to do that we need to say something for a certain amount of time so we need this block now I don't think when the cat catches the mouse he's likely to say hello but you can have whatever you want in here I'm going to change this to caught you let's give him a couple of exclamation marks now this block isn't part of our program yet and we need to put it inside the program and we need it to always be working and the way we get things to always work is to put them inside the forever loop so let's just drop it in there just below the play drum let's think what it says forever move towards the mouse next costume play the noise and when it gets here it's saying if it's touching Herbert say caught you what if it's not 
well if he's not touching Herbert, if he's not caught him nothing will be said, it'll just keep looping. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm moving the mouse around, he's facing Felix, he's going to stand still and <gasps> the cat has caught the mouse. If I move the mouse again Felix keeps moving. Caught you. Let's press stop. OK. Job for you to do is pause the video. Make sure you've got these instructions for Felix. Update with the touching and the caught you. And save your program and then restart the video. Well, we've got a game and it's quite nice, but I'm going to add a bit more to it and make it a bit more interesting. I'm going to get it so that when the cat catches the mouse, the mouse dies and turns into a ghost in a cartoony kind of way. So I'm going to add a costume to Herbert. So if we go up to costumes, and we're going to import, we're going to bring in a costume and it's going to be. Um, a fantasy figure. So if we go up one level and if we scroll down the fantasy figures and the one I'm going to choose is this one Ghost 2A. Okay. It's a bit big. Remember we can go into edit and shrink it down. Let's use the shrink button. I've click that six times, let's see if that's enough. That looks about right. Okay. Um, and make to make this work we're going to have to change the name of each costume. This one I'm going to call Alive, because that's obviously when Herbert's alive. And in here we're going to call this one Dead. D-E-A-D. -E that's good. So Herbert's got his new costume. I'm going to change the script for Felix now. So I've clicked on the Felix sprite and I'm going to add in a change in this bit, taking out the say. If you want to get rid of a block, you can just drop it over here and it disappears. So what am I going to put in here? So if Felix is touching Herbert, if he's caught Herbert, we are going to make a sound to show that it's been caught. And we're going to play the drum again. And I'm going to choose 58 Vibra Slap. And we're going to have that for 0.2 beats, that's fine. And it's going to be wait one second. Let's put those two in the if. So now it's going following the pointer, moving the 10 steps, changing costume so he looks like he's running, playing the drum to make it sound like he's making a noise as he runs. But if he catches Herbert, if it touches the sprite called Herbert, it's going to play this sound for that long and wait a second and then carry on. Let's see what that looks like. So he's going to catch him now, plays that sound. So that's good for a game because you've got a sort of a feedback, a way of knowing that the mouse has been caught. So pause the video now, change the Felix script and save it. Okay, so you have checked that your program hopefully uh, allows uh, the cat to catch the mouse and when it does there's a sound played and it turns into a ghost and then there's a delay of one second that allows the mouse to get away again and for the cat to carry on chasing the mouse. Let's add a score so we know how well we're doing at keeping Herbert alive and we'll start the score at zero and increase it by one every second and if Felix catches Herbert we'll reduce the score by 100. We're going to need something called a variable. If we go into the variables palette uh, you'll see that we've got the opportunity to make a variable and we're going to call the variable score. Oops, helps if I can spell it correctly. Uh, notice here we've got two buttons, this one for this sprite only, so that would only work for the sprite that we're in, uh, but for all sprites that's the one we need, keep that checked. Okay. 
So you'll see in the palette we've now got a set of blocks. One's called score and if you look in the uh, stage the score is shown because that's uh, got a tick next to it. If we take out the tick the score's disappeared. Sometimes you want to keep the score on the screen, sometimes you don't want to and that's for any variable. So let's bring it back. We can set the score, change the score, show and hide the score. I'm going to bring that out. Now a variable allows us to keep track of something over time. We're going to set the score to zero um, and this is going to be running at the same time that the cat's chasing the mouse so we need to control it with a green flag hat block. I'm going to pop that on there. So when the green flag is clicked the score is set to zero so it's a way of resetting at the start of every game. And we're going to use our old friend the forever loop. So this is going on all the time and what we want to go on all the time is in the variables is the score to change over time. And we want the score to increase by one over time. Um, well it's going to carry on doing it but we need a, a delay between each time the score increases uh, and we're going to reward uh, the player for keeping Herbert alive for every second so if we've got wait one second, so for every second that we keep Herbert alive the score is going to change by one and that's going to loop round forever in this bit so when it's initially clicked the score set to zero but after that the score will keep increasing and increasing and increasing by one every second. Let's see what that does to the game. So I'm going to click the green flag and I'm moving the mouse around notice that the score is changing so it's going up and up. I'm getting points for keeping alive. Well we're getting points for keeping Herbert the mouse alive but we're not yet losing any points when we allow him to be caught so we need to add just one small um, instruction or block into Felix's script and that's going to be a broadcast. Broadcast is here and we're going to drop it in in this if block. So we've changed the if block and it still says if Felix catches Herbert or is touching Herbert the drums played and waiting a second but it's going to broadcast a message and the message is going to be caught. Now there's nothing going to appear on screen but Herbert the Herbert sprite is going to receive that message. So if we go back to Herbert, in here we've got this instruction that says when I receive the message caught, switch to costume dead, wait for half a second and then come back alive again, carry on the game. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, if you look up here I'm getting points. Nah, 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 nah. I'm getting points every second my score's going up but if I was to be over here and get caught the message is being broadcast let's press stop okay but it didn't affect the score we haven't changed the score so we need to change something in Herbert scripts to make sure that we lose points when the cat catches us. So if we go back to Felix and we're going to add another block. This is when I receive caught. That one here. So it's not only broadcasting to the sprite Herbert sprite but it's also broadcasting within our own sprite um, and it's to change the score. So when I receive the message caught then we can change the score by and then we need it to go down because it's a bad thing to allow it to be caught so this is going to take a big score off. Let's see what that looks like. Points are going up and up and up but if he gets caught turns into a ghost and look at the score. So we had four or five and then we lost 
100 and it went down so we're on minus 85 84 and then it's gone down to minus 103 104 so we're reducing our minus score so we've got to keep going for quite a while to be able to get a decent score let's just press stop so pause your video make sure you're up to date with both of these sprite scripts test it does your score go up by one every second does the score go down by 100 when Herbert is caught what happens when Herbert is caught before the score reaches 100 does the score go back to zero when you start a new game these are all things that you need to check and you need to test your game by getting other people to play it and listen to what they say they might say oh that's not fair it goes down by 100 well you're the game maker you can change this so instead of going down by 100 it might just want to go down by 10 then it's perhaps a easier game so let's just press go the scores going up it went back to zero but it's going up again let's see if I can get past 10 oh look got 12 13 it gets caught oh I've gone back to three so I I stand more chance of getting more points okay let's stop the game check that you've got this far that you tested out on other people you've completed assignment 2 when you've done this make sure that you let me know on Edmodo that you've completed this and I want you to share it with the world on the scratch site so you've been going to file and save but you can also share share this project online when you click on that you're asked for the website login name and our name is Swine's Head Code Club. Do type things carefully because I often make mistakes and then wonder why it's not worked and it's because I've not typed it properly. Swine's Head Code Club and the password is St Mary. You have to be very careful typing that because you can't see what you've written it's got little stars so Mary one two three you can add notes to this to let other people know um, what it's all about there's the project name it's no good just sending me Felix and Herbert else I'll have 12 programs called Felix and Herbert from all the Code Club members so give it your name I'm gonna call mine Mr. C you can add notes that remind you what you did or anything that you'd like to change or any comments you received you can um, tick this for game because that's what you've made you can add other tags that helps other people to find it so when we press OK if you've done it correctly it will say your project is now online at scratch.mit.edu OK well done for completing assignment 2